Hey, this is Tyler from Renacoop, and this is your setup video for your RAC100S. The first thing you'll want to do is open up your Energizer, and you'll see your warnings and instructions. You'll definitely want to read those first before setting this up, and the instructions are very detailed. You can see from this graphic that you'll need a galvanized steel grounding rod, a 12 volt sealed lead acid battery, and a voltmeter. Rentacoop sells the grounding rod and voltmeter separately. And for this unit, we recommend a 12 volt, 12 amp hour sealed lead acid battery. Okay, so you can see that I've opened the box and the unit comes with the solar panel and that's what we'll be installing first. On one side of the handle you'll see a hole and that's the side you'll connect the solar panel to. You'll connect the solar panel using one of the screws and the wing nuts. You can adjust it to the angle you'd like and then tighten the wing nut even more. Then you will attach the positive and negative solar panel wires to the positive and negative solar terminals on the energizer. Next thing we're going to do is connect the negative ground terminal to the grounding rod using the grounding cable. So you can see I put the grounding cable behind the metal washer so it has metal on both sides and it is connected to the grounding rod. Next we'll connect the positive fence terminal on the energizer to the wiring on the fence. Now you'll see that the positive battery lead is larger than the negative. And when you flip it over, on the right side you'll see the positive, on the left side you'll see the negative. Note that these do require some pressure to get on, and you might want to use a pair of needle nose pliers. Next you'll take the alligator clips, and you'll connect them to your sealed lead acid battery. Once again, please make sure your energizer is turned off. Now for this unit, you can see that on the right side, the RAC100S, a 12 volt, 12 amp hour will last five days without any sun. So we recommend going for a larger model of battery, just in case you have a period of time where you're not getting a lot of sun. Next, you'll clip the negative, the black alligator clip, to the negative terminal on your battery and positive to positive. All right, that's it for the inside of the energizer, so we'll go ahead and close it up. Now you'll see that the knob has three different settings. There's a low, a medium, and a high setting. And the low setting puts out 6,000 kilovolts, the medium setting 8,000, and the high setting 10,000. So if you have one fence or two fences, you might want to use the low setting. You would use the low setting to save on battery power. But if you have heavy rain and you have grass growing and you have multiple fences, you would probably want to use the high setting. Next, you take your voltmeter and you want to test your fence to make sure you have everything set up correctly. You can see here we have one fence and the fence and the energizer is putting out 9,600 kilovolts, which is enough to stop a bear. So wolves and bear require 5,000 volts, and your common predators such as foxes, raccoons, dog, cats, etc., will require 3,000 volts. If your voltmeter is not showing 3,000 and it's under 3,000, it could be a number of different problems depending on the type of fencing you have. And if you set up your energizer correctly, we do have a troubleshooting video that you can check out. If you are using Rentacoop's electric fence, voltmeter, and grounding rod, it is very unlikely for you to have any issues. Our voltmeter is able to test batteries as well as your electric fence, as you can see here. So that's something we highly recommend. All right, that's it for this video. We Hope you love your new Energizer and we hope it brings you a lot of convenience. Thank you.